Um, gonna do a little demonstration here on Spelling there. On a ripple effect of water. Um, so I'm going to start by creating some layers. And this is going to be my raindrop. All right. And convert this to a symbol. This is just to give us a sense of timing. And from here, I'm going to have this ripple effect start. And I'm just making it a slightly different color so we can see the difference. So now, this is going to be a frame by frame of seven. And I'm going to turn on my onion skin just for a second just to see where it makes contact. And from here, We're going to do the same thing, sort of, as that lightning bolt. And once this starts to begin to get large enough, it starts to fade out. Just like the lightning bolt, we sort of did those dashed lines, dotted lines as it started to begin to fade out, which is very, very quickly. And then just even further out here. And now when you play it back, so uh, I probably did a few too many frames. Um, it seems like I did do too many frames. Ten frames on that might be a bit much. Um, I'm going to try getting rid of each and every other frame. And she and play it back. So you get this little splashing effect. Um, now on top of that, what we can add to this, instead of just doing a little ripple, let's add a splash. This is just your basic frame by frame. Um, work here where I'm going to turn on onion skin for this again and as it makes contact you get these little sort of splashing effects and this is just onion skinned frame by frame hand drawn it's a great little drawing exercise um, And then, if you get really, really intricate, these actually each could have their own little ripple effect, too. So, I think that might go, it depends on how, how 
your animation you're using this for, how the art style is for it. Um, so that always makes a difference. And I'm going to play it back. And now, not only do we have a little ripple effect, we also have this little splashing effect at the same time. And it adds quite a bit. Um, so, this is great for doing things like, uh, this could be like a water faucet dripping. Um, it could be a, um, rain itself, when rain's falling. Um, you could do the splash on like the street, but on puddles in areas, you do, um, you could do that in those areas. So, there's one more thing I guess, uh, we could cover. And that's sort of like if uh, you have flowing water. And um, this is sort of like a uh, water effector, I guess. So if we had something still in water, like uh, like a docking post from, a, from for like boats or whatever of a dock. Um, Go ahead and I'm going to draw that in. And I'm also going to I'll just put pond. It's just water. So, I want to make sure I get a Okay. All right, so oh, I'm just selecting a color here. All right, so now I've got this water here, and if I play this back, something like so. But there's no movement in the water at all here. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of some ripple effect. So let's just say this water splashes. And I'm just going to start it afterwards. So right here. From dock. So I'm going to go ahead and choose another blue. And what this does here is it'll simply sort of and this is just a frame by frame as well you can turn on onion skinning. And I'm going to do this fairly quickly. So in essence, it's sort of like the water splashing is creating water movement, which affects this, which we would have to animate in the background, which we could do. You could do waves. Um, there's all types of things you can do with water. Water is obviously not the easiest thing to animate because it's such a um, natural flowing type uh, motion. Um, and if you were to do something like waves, and I'm going to do your very standard generic waves.
something like that. What you do is, um, I'm going to do like a couple frames out. It depends on how slow you want it to move. But, turn on my onion skin. And I'm doing, as I mentioned, a very, very, very generic sort of motion in the water. And here is that. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to onion skin up to that point. Um, so I'll just go ahead and start to do that. And it depends on how you're doing it. Um, obviously, you could just start to flatten it out, but you really want to try to give it some sort of natural look to it, where it sort of flattens it out itself. And it depends on how chaotic the water is. And and I'm drawing in these squares at the bottom of it to simply Be able to fill it in really easily. And I'm going to do that at the end. All right. So it goes like so. And then out here, I'll do a few more. And I'm going to have these actually be opposite of my first ones. Okay. All right, here. I want to start on this one, drag my onion skin in this way, and I'm going to begin to draw these in where it begins to sort of. animate into these. And this could be done tons of different ways. I'm just doing a really kind of pose to pose, but I'm not getting too concerned with um, uh, the exact motion of water. If I were to do that, I would take a lot more time and make sure I Looked at a lot more reference. To get this more accurate, but I'm doing just like a really sort of cartoony water style here. And you can get these to flow pretty cool. Um, in and out of one another when you do a pose to pose like this. I'm doing it fairly quickly, so. Okay, and turn onion skin off. 
I want to put. Right? It's actually not the greatest water I've ever done, but it gets the idea there. And I'm going to do this cool little thing. I'm going to copy frames, and I'm going to paste frames, and then reverse frames. And I'm going to remove this frame so it doesn't play twice. And I can do that again. Copy frames. Paste frames. Reverse frames. And remove this frame. And remove all these. So I have a 30 second animation. And I'm going to hide this pond on a guide layer. And I'm just filling in the color on each one of these frames. And you play it back. It's fast, but it's um, essentially you've got yourself a little water scene. Um, now if you included a little boat or whatever you wanted, you could go ahead and do that. Um, this animation here is a little bit fast. Probably want to slow this one down. This one's OK. Um, but essentially, you've got yourself a whole bunch of little water effects here, um, motioning constant motion water like uh, as if you're in the ocean, um, a splash here uh, with as, as well as a ripple effect, and then the motion from the water just affecting right off of that docking post. So um, that's a whole bunch of little water effects you can do, and um, thanks for watching.